Okay, here I am back in the saddle, and it's time for us to finish off Scenario 8, An Errand of Hope. So the situation last time was, I had just defeated the leader of the purples, there's only one purple troop left. We do have, I have quite a lot of black troops left, and they are up here. They now will come in and probably kill my bone shooter, but that's okay. And the last part of the scenario will just be me pushing against the leader of the black troops. Ooh, pardon me. And uh, trying to get into their base. Alright, so it's just a matter at this point of clicking enter and seeing what happens. Good, the blue leader is living life on the edge. <laughs> <laughs> this is going very well. Amazingly, this ant. This this level two demon Zephyr cannot defeat this ant, and it's getting quite badly beaten up. Um, so. Yeah, I guess we'll see what happens over there. We've got a level 3 demon warrior coming, which is a little bit of a concern. Um, first things first, we need to clean up on the left hand flank. Sorry if I'm a bit disoriented, it's the time of day when the sun is in my eyes when I'm sitting in front of the computer. Alright, so this invoker decided that it was going to go for the bat. That is an interesting tactical decision. And I'll just use as many troops as it takes to kill this invoker. Um, in the meantime, this sorceress can move over towards the bulk of the battle. First things first, I think you can go around there and try and get some hits in. <laughs> So then you come in over here, and I'm going to let the bat see if it can get any any health back. Quite the opposite, unfortunately. What about this wraith? Can you do it? Lovely. Alright, and now the Death Baron can get the kill, I hope. There we go. One more kill and the Death Baron is a Death Knight, and I can replace the one that I so pointlessly lost. Okay. You... I don't... I won't need you to stay around, so I'm going to use these four units to mop up the houses in the future. Um, maybe Anne Linde as well, because she's fast, or... Hmm. Maybe not. Yeah, okay. You go and grab that house and you head back towards the battle. So now down here, I've got three units, and now that now that the battle is going badly for the demons up here, it is actually tempting to, to bring them around, but I am going to concentrate my attack on this one side, and that means bringing these troops up. They can't come all that far. You could go in and almost attack the demon, but that would be pointless. So you just got here. Alright, so now it's time to try and take down these remaining troops. This ghost now hopefully can get the kill and become a shadow because I don't have any shadows and they are actually useful. Um, like I say, I, I don't prefer them to wraiths. Wraiths are definitely better, but uh, shadows have their plus points too. Again, they're invisible um, at night time, but that again is a trait that's much, much more useful to the uh, to the enemy, it seems, um, than it is to us. All right, Malkasha, you're so close to a level. I can actually bring you around here, and you can level up. Oh, I was 
worried he wasn't even going to get two hits there, but uh, but he did. All right, now 89 health out of 89. Very nice. Um, now the trick will be to get into the soft, squishy underbelly of these guys. Now this lich can move to here, or perhaps rather... You. Or you. Hmm. I'm having strategic difficulties here. Uh, maybe this archer, I think, is, might be the right person to do the job. So if, then you come back one. You can just about reach, so you get in there. Two hits. Good. Now. You're on extremely little health. You're on extremely little health, actually. Um, as I said before, it's not it's not great to have a a bone shooter who is dead. So, well, I mean they're dead by being undead, but uh, only undead. All right, you move and grab that house. And then I think I'm going to try and let this other ghost up here get the kill. And it eventually succeeds. And that means I can use some of these units here to kill invokers. Or to try and fail to kill invokers. Gallus, if you go there you'll be on 36 defences. That's a good idea. Well, let's see. You go here. Not having good luck with the old hits at this point. You will probably die. But you can at least try and give a good account of yourself. And you, Galas, just come in and chop, chop, chop on this invoker. Wow, okay, I'm really not hitting very well this turn. It's, it's so much as to even suggest that I should try and move some move Sathinia up here, and I think that is actually the right play. Um, so that she can only be attacked by two units. Okay, and turn. I think they're going to try and kill the experienced skeleton first, because that's really no cost to them. And these green... Yeah, there we go. Alright. <laughs> this ant is still alive. It's got 17 experience points. It could get a level. First things first, and by first thing I mean you want to head down and check out this sarcophagus. Meanwhile, there's only there are two villages here. Mustn't forget the one in the middle, which Anlinde can't reach. But she is gonna, even though she's a bit wounded, she's gonna come back now and join the fight if she can. You advance. You advance. And now it's time to try and get rid of some more of these units. Unfortunately, that just killed my skeletons, who are the best units for dealing with invokers. But never mind. Ugh. They 
keep coming. This this player is clearly very keen on sending incredibly weak units my way. You now the shadow now is a night stalk skirmisher, so can deal a ton of damage in situations like this. I've just got to be extremely careful because if I do that, it's going to become vulnerable. So here it's tempting to bring the Lich in, but I mean, the damage in return is just so completely obscene. Um, it makes more sense to do it with Malkeshar, who's going to take even more damage from that, actually. Um, I do not have the right units for this situation. It's frustrating. That said, if I can get rid of both of these invokers now, I will have the right units for the situation. So I guess I should just rely on Galas to try and deal some damage. Again, okay, not not <laughs> not great. Um, Malkesha, I want you. For... What about you? Can you kill him? If you can. And again, I'm not super invested in the survival of this unit, um, but if you get lucky, you can kill this invoker. Ugh. That's good. And then that leaves... This, I don't want this demoness warrior to be able to attack any of my troops next turn. I would like to be able to kill this invoker with units that are not 100% crucial, like this one. If I go in there though, and I don't get the kill, then this invoker will be around to pester me further. And it, it's very, I mean, I can't quite, if I go there, I can't kill it. If I bring you out in front, that's probably the best plan, because then you'll die, and that's fine if you don't die already when you were hit by this guy. Okay, you, you're you not going to die from that. So... I can move a ghost in to do that. Or maybe just this... maybe the shadow is actually the best bet for it. I'll move Malkashar here to get rid of this demon. <laughs> um, that was a fairly unconvincing laugh, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, not loving this, um, this level of uh, taking damage. That must be said. Um, the dwarves can, the dwarf, the dwarves can help out. I remember that. Need to kill the invoker. Need to kill the invoker. Great, invoker is dead, um, and now this ghost can try to kill this demoness. Oh, lovely. Okay. Now the question is whether the Lich should go in and try to kill uh, this headhunter. And I think probably should, because let's say that they both attack with clubs next turn. I will take 32 damage. Um, and I'd have to take all four hits. I'd have to take, yeah, I'd have to be hit seven times at 40% in order to die next turn, unless there are secret units that I can't see. So, I'm going to take those odds. Perfect, alright. Now I think I ought to have this situation under wraps. You can even do some healing if you stand there, thank you. And now it's all about exploring and pushing back, and I think this force ought to be able to do that without me recruiting any more troops. I'm halfway through the turn limit. Go green! Go green's ridiculous force. Ah, oh, RIP.
Okay, what happens when you go down here? This coffin is empty. Alright, that wasn't very exciting. You jump to this house. And the rest of you can start making their way back. Gotta remember to get this one next turn. Or I could get it, yeah, I'm just gonna get it this turn with Anlinde and she can heal a bit. She probably won't be there in time for the for the big big bad boss fight anyway. Alright, so all I have to do now in this aspect of the fighting is get rid of this demoness warrior. Um, and because these are people who use chill attack, by far the best person to do that is Malkeshar. Four hits, and you just keep it Didn't get the four hits, but that's okay. Someone else can do that. Um, maybe you. Uh, not convincingly. Hmm. A slightly less experienced ghost can try that one out. And then this ghost, if you get the kill, you're going to level. If anyone gets the kill, um, I mean the the shadow could do with that chunk of 24 experience. That's probably better than giving it to any of these others. Well, maybe this one. Maybe get two shadows. The shadows do get into situations where they die, so you see if you can do it. Oh, excellent. Okay. Um, and now I've got two shadows. As well as some wraiths and some spectres. Everyone else um, want you to get into positions where you can heal or be healed. So Galas, you go there. Mill or Gil and Lich, you stay where you are, you move up. I'm gonna shout I'm gonna shout with this scado. See if I can see anything. You should be invisible, so not in danger of reaper. Cushions. And there's a normal level 1 demoness over here. And I guess this demon Zephyr is going to come down, is going to come back and try and attack me. Oh! Bloody hell! Bloody hell! Okay, there's a... <laughs> there's a headhunter there that I completely missed. Ah, oh, way to go, George. Can anyone, you can't even get in there, you're not fast enough. The only person who's fast enough is this Shide. And this Lich, this Lich could go and do it. Wow, okay. I bet some of you will be screaming in your heads for that one. Oh, this is good, there's a Dwarvish Scout that can get in on one of these top three positions. So you just go in there and do some damage. <coughs> And then you come down here, and if you're actually if you're in either of these positions, if you're there, you'll get the heal. You only need one hit. All right, everyone else, power forward, including this weak and fell useless skeleton. Well, I've done a fairly good job of getting my level one units killed before the uh, final battle, which is a good way of saving money. Let's see what you do now that you've finished your epic battle with an ant. Yeah, you're going to play it safe, are you? Could do a double whammy here on this scout on this uh... so there's a level one headhunter there doesn't look like there's anyone else around how much damage was a would a, a okay so you would normally do 10 damage um, now if I drop you in 
optimum shadow configuration, you will be able to do 20 damage apiece. So I only need two hits out of six to take this demoness down. And there it goes. That's why shadows are good, everyone. Everyone else, march forward. My uh, faithful house catchers over here. All the houses have been caught. This coffin is still empty, I think. Maybe it just doesn't like wraiths. Maybe it just doesn't like wraiths visiting it. Still. Dwarves. I suppose it's not completely out of the question that uh, that these dwarves could actually be useful at some point in this battle. At the moment, the AI has seemed to have twigged that they want to keep them alive. <laughs> Battering ram job. I can do the trick again. Can I see anyone else? No? Alright, you go and grab that house. My income is looking pretty healthy at the moment. Right, shadow trick time. Ah, there we see the big bad. And the big bad can't reach us. He's a big bad law keeper. Um, and... Yeah, I mean, they're magic users. Um, pretty standard magey type unit. Not much else exciting to be said about them. Uh, I don't think this scenario is going to last much longer. nice to go exploring up here actually, see what green's uh, got going on, but I don't suppose it'll be very exciting. There's not much map up that way. Maybe my back can go. Hoping that the dwarf will actually go, the dwarves will go down there and, and take on this zephyr because I don't like fighting zephyrs, as you know. 
Okay, so now there's a there's a headhunter. Big bad can't reach me. Most people are on full health now, that's nice. You go and explore down here, maybe there's something fun. Other than just water. You're not going to be needing that gold anymore. Yeah, they're going to move in, but <laughs> at the uh, speed of. Oh, no! Oh no, you don't. Steal my gold. Oof. You bastard. Looks like there's nothing down here. Yeah, I can't even, I can't even go that way. Okay, there's the green leader. Green leader is looking comfortable up there. Aetilize, the pathfinder. And no one is quite within range of the Chaos Law Keeper yet. Someone gets to take out a headhunter and get some experience for it. I'm going to move Kel Malkeshar up here to be a blocker. And everyone else can, can move up too, so... Galas, you also... And then... Alright, Poison Bowman! <laughs> I thought you were never going to hit anything. Alright, you're now a level 3 Elvish Avenger, you're dexterous, and you've got a poisonous bow. Hopefully this will stand you in good stead in future scenarios. I'm going to have to remember that I have this guy. It's easy to forget Avengers, I don't often recall them because, well, they're not super tanky, so for the level 3 units you can usually do better. Okay, everyone get into position. But I shouldn't worry about you because you're invisible, but you know, I worry nonetheless. I'm just such a kind-hearted guy. doing green okay um, somewhat frustrating that you've chosen to fill that spot with a demon I know you're not gonna be able to reach anyway so maybe you should just come up and shoot this demon Uh, 
Ah, now one nasty feature of Law Keepers that does set them apart from other mage units is leadership, which is the reason that this uh, this demon was able to do 21 damage to my level 3 unit that turn. I need to pay attention more. But only two of these people can reach the Law Keeper. But I have shadows. What about you, Malkashar? You won't die, so let's do it. High caliber magical battle going on here. And then I think the game will be over. Um, I mean, I, don't, I won't need the Lich for this, so the Lich can try this. And it's a shame that this Zephyr survived, but you know, it's uh, Jevon the Ant Slayer will live on in our hearts and minds. And then now it's just a question of who I want to get the kill, and I think the answer really is one of these shadows, ideally. So I'm going to see if this one can do it. Nope. Alright, Galas, you get in ready for dealing some damage. And this other shadow can come around the back. Alright, that's six misses at 40%. Lovely. In that case, Galas, it's going to have to be you. You only need one hit. There we go. Dwarf friends, you made it! No! Follow me to the throne room. King Asurgar awaits. He'll be pleased to hear and see news of ye and your kind again. And there it is. 305 bonus gold, people. 305. There are so many villages in this scenario that the, uh, the early finish bonus is, is very, very handy. Alright. I will see you in the next scenario.